Oh my gosh, look at this. What is this? And this is, and, and this is your cruise, cruise, cruise ship. Look, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this cruise liner. Wait, wait, wait. Before you land, fly around it. Uh, let, let's fly, fly around the ship real quick. Because we need to see. Look at this giant cruise ship, guys. Where's Cool Kitty? Cool Kitty needs to see this too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the iceberg. Did you make an iceberg? That, that's the... That, that's uh, Mount Everest. <laughs> Mount Everest. Okay, I thought you made an iceberg, like referencing yeah, that's, Titanic. That's an iceberg, yeah. Because <laughs> oh. that's why the cruise ship is stopped because they're gonna hit the iceberg. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, I... Guys, what I... Okay, all right. I'm gonna say right now, this... I never... What a clever idea is to make an iceberg like like seriously seriously i what a clever idea it's oh my gosh like i never would have thought of using the pathing and look the way he makes the mountain so it makes it very rocky very choppy with using the ramps and square so an iceberg oh my gosh that's for some reason, yeah, I'm more excited about the iceberg than the cruise ship. Even though the cruise ship is amazing, we're gonna see it. But seeing an iceberg in Dincom, I just my mind got blown. Like I never would have put that, like done that, and then put it next to the ship. You know, uh, a little Titanic reference there. You know, just in yeah. case. <laughs> uh, all right, but guys, look at this front of the of the cruise ship. Look at this. Look at that front. Look at how beautiful this is and elegant. Oh my gosh, I love the top part of the, where uh, the cabin, where the people are gonna be uh, driving uh, the boat over there with the black panels, uh, recreating the windows. Like, oh my goodness, this is so good. This is so good. The front looks amazing. Like you can really see it's a cruise ship. Like this is, wow, Royal Caribbean cruise ship. I know Florida B, I know, right? <laughs> no, failing. Failing, welcome in, failing. Now I need a cruise. We all need. Yeah. We all need to do a meetup and meet on a cruise and have fun together. Let's do a let's do a familia meetup. Oh my goodness, look at this. Alright guys, and we're gonna walk it this. We're gonna walk it on the inside. Book me on this cruise, Pinky. Pinky, <laughs> Pinky's on board, Flora B, I know she's on board already. I'm, I'm, I'm in for a Familia cruise. We got the ranch. I'll be there. We'll all be there, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stand on the edge right here because we, we want to take this in. Look at how amazing this is. So I'm going to pan the camera. Let's do it. Guys, you know, one day, one day, I would like to actually do a meetup. You know, I know we all live in different places. Some of you live not even in the United States, but you know, at least people that will live close, you know, I don't know, maybe pick a halfway point in the United States where we can all meet for a weekend. I think it'd be a great experience uh, meeting all of you in person, you know? All right, guys, so let's look at this cruise ship right here. Look at this. All right, so first thing, first thing, I'm panning the camera so you guys can see the layout so you guys can see a little bit of the outline the item that he's using i love the way he uses the ramps uh ken has such such a unique uh build style right and the way he uses the ramps to accent corners like this just to give it a little bit of flair just to give a little design is it's, it's a ken's touch you know it's a it's a unique ken thing when he, on his build it's kind of kind of like a like a little trademark that he does and i really like what he does with his ramps and and let's just walk in. Let's just walk this amazing cruise ship. As you guys can see, we got a beautiful landing spot. That's the letter G. That's the letter G. Yeah. And then we got Jersey's <laughs> cruise ship. Guys, so welcome to the Familia Cruise. The Familia Cruise Ship right here. Benny. Oh my gosh, Benny Elementary's Bill. Benny, do you see this? Did you, did you got to see the little fly when we were flying it around? And Benny, did you see? Okay, wait, wait. I don't know if Benny saw it. Let me, let me help him. Okay, let me help him. Around. <laughs> Benny, Benny, you need. I don't know if you saw this part, but Benny, look at the iceberg. Look at the iceberg. 
the iceberg. Like I'm so ex like I said, I I I got more excited about the iceberg. I love the cruise ship, but the idea of the iceberg is so good. It's so good. Uh, I, I hope I have a good captain on board because I don't want my cruise ship to hit it, but we, we may nick it for the looks of it because this one, let me see. Ooh, we just may hit it just a little bit. We need to fix that. We need to fix that. We, can, we can't hit it. We got a beautiful, beautiful cruise ship going on. Guys, uh, the, one, one of the things that I, uh, we, we done this in Cool Kitties Islands before. When you see bills like this, don't forget, these are perspective bills, so they're meant to be seen for very far away. So if you're ever gonna do a bill like this and you wanna showcase it, you know, always remember to you that they're meant to be seen from more far away. And then once you get closer, then it sometimes you lose a little bit of what it's supposed to be, you know? But it's truly amazing the way it looks from far away. And it looks so modern. It looks like a super modern cruise jet, a uh, jet? Yeah, I, I think I'm saying that right. It looks it looks so good. Okay. All right, so welcome to Jersey's cruise ship. As you guys can see, uh, if you need your official uniform to be in, you know, you know, you wanna wear your ninja clothing out here. There we go, we got you covered. You can buy your souvenirs. You got your souvenir Jersey shirts. Oh my gosh, he actually did the whole souvenir thing. We got souvenir, got we got souvenir. the James Benden, we got the Dinkum shirts, you know, supporting, you know, that way, you know, James Benden. And we got all the plushies, really nice, really nice. I'll be lurking, ooh, lurk. Oh my goodness, this is truly, this is really so cool, so cool. And guys, look at the, the eating area. The buffet we got you covered you come to the jersey cruise line we got all the amazing food we got great cooks the best cooks in the world they're right here they're right here just for you to create special orders too it's not just what's in the menu you don't like what's on the menu do your special order if we got the ingredients we'll make it for you right ken yeah see this is a cool guys as some something that also ken does really great is how he makes his illusions possible. And he uses the statues, as you can see. A lot of people find them creepy, you know? Uh, as sometimes they are creepy, <laughs> depending how you use them. <laughs> but, but Ken always does such a great job. And uh, as you've seen in every every tour, he plays them, he just places them and they don't. They always look great. And also, and it elevates the bill. It makes it feel a little more realistic. And it's very strategic. It's always for like for cooks, for helpers, maybe waiters, maybe restaurants, maybe cashiers. There's always a great cameraman. We, when we saw his jet ski racetrack, uh, he had a bunch of cameras and he had all these statues behind the cameras. So all of that, it brings to the illusion, right? Uh, and don't forget, if you don't like the statues, that's fine. You don't need the statues. Ooh, I got my own room this way. <gasps> I got my own room, and you guys got your own room this way. Ooh, let's let's go to my room first. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I like. I got a nice bed. I like that double. Very nice. And I got my own private shower. <laughs> now this is something, guys. Uh, I really fell in love. Uh, if you guys remember in the high school, is the way he did this, putting this little extra sign back here. You know, it makes it feel like we got a, trying to see if I can get a good view. If mirror. It makes it feel like we got a mirror, like you're looking into a mirror, right? James, James, here's the idea, James. You take that sign right there, that same sign, and you put a fake mirror, just a fake mirror. And we got a mirror that we can use like that, just like that. But really good idea. I love, I love Ken's always coming up and utilizing his designs to bring his builds to the next level to a little more realism. Uh, that's something that I really enjoy when, it, when I come to Kent's Island is that realistic feel and aspect, you know? Because that's usually the way I like to build in more of a realistic look. And I really love this. Now, here you guys, guys, so start now. As you can see, the visitor rooms are shared rooms. So we got up to four people. So if you're here in the chat, you know, groups of four. So become friends. You know, you guys are familia. If you're a subscriber, you're a familia, you're family. So don't be shy, but we need groups of four, okay? So we need 
powering up, okay? Uh, oh my gosh, this is so good. This is so good. I just like what he does all the time. So good. All right, look at this Hulk. I love this. Look at this feel. This feels so cool. This feels so cool. Every time we get little places like this in different islands or right here in this cruise ship, having these massive walls on the side, it just, I don't know. It just gives us that a unique feel. Okay, and we got a little stairs. So let's take the stairs going this direction. Now, now if you're looking for some sun rays, you, you, you're looking for that tan. <laughs> you, you know, you need that tan going on. Look at this. We got you covered. Look at this. I know you guys want to be here. I know, I know, right? Right? Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. Ken, Ken, you done really good job. So Ken, did you get inspired by a real life cruise ship or this is your own original design? Uh, uh, my original design. Original design. This is amazing. I just uh, think it, then I said, I'm gonna make a, I make jersey cruise ship. So I made you one. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is truly amazing. This yeah, is truly amazing. I like how you brought all this greenery too into the build. Like it looks really good. Like look, look at this shot guys. Look at this view. Look, this is so impressive. Like this is, it just feels epic. It's, I don't know. It, it's all, this view right here, it almost feels like a, like a, like a spaceship right here too, you know? That's the next thing Ken's gonna do. He's gonna build a spaceship. Somehow, he's gonna make it happen. <laughs> and then, guys, we'll, we'll do tours out of space in Dinkum. This is so cool. It needs a bar. Boy, if you go to the restaurant, they'll give you the drinks you need. Yeah. You know? Drink all you can. <laughs> Look at, oh my gosh. This is so well done. Look at all the chairs. Once again, what a beautiful way to utilize also the tin fence. Like, it's, it's, it's amazing how different people can make different items being used in a different way that we may not ever think about. And the team fence, who would have guessed that the team fence, a normal fence, one of the most basic fence in Dincom, will bring this layer, level of detail and design into this build, right? And, and it really works, like it looks really good. In my mind, if somebody would tell me, I'm like, no, that's too simple. It doesn't bring that elegance or, or maybe it will not look good in the ship. You may be thinking another type of fence. But once again, it looks amazing. What Ken has done looks amazing. Again, we're using, you're seeing Ken's trademark when it comes to the ramps, the way he utilizes the ramps to make some aesthetics, some of the borders, some of the extra designs. And look at this view right here. Actually, this is such a good screenshot. Ken, Ken, get over here. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a screenshot right here. This could be the thumbnail for this, this little tour right here. Uh, if you can make it daylight, I think it looks a lot more impressive during daylight. And we'll take a little screenshot. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and I think that's a good one right there. Let me see that or right there i think that's really good right there there we go all right this could be the this could be the thumbnail right here of this this particular tour so we'll see oh my goodness i man this is so impressive this is truly impressive love the empanada video i gotta try with the potato daisy 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 how are you welcome in misty misty Ken knocking it out of the park yet again. Love it, Ken. Ken always knocks it out of the park. I mean, man. <laughs> now, I will I will say it again. If you guys haven't seen, if you're new, if, if this is your first time seeing a Kent Island tour, I'm gonna tell you, Kent plays. No joke, no kidding. He can play eight to 10 to 12 hours a day sometimes in Dincom. So that's why Ken sometimes does the impossible in such a short amount of time, in such a matter of span. He loves this game so much. Uh, every downtime that he has, he's literally playing. I see it popped up all the time. <laughs> every time I'm editing <laughs> videos I... or something, I see Kent is playing Dinkum again. 
Kent is playing Ding Dong again. I'm like, oh my God. Sometimes I'm working in the computer, editing a video, and it's been four hours, and Kent is still playing Ding Dong. It's, he, he loves this game so much. He does such a great job. Uh, and, so, and I like to say that because I don't want people to be discouraged. You know, Ken is in another different level, you know? Not that it can be done, it's just he puts so much time, right? This type of build, this type of island is hours after hours after hours of labor of love, you know? So I, I like to emphasize that because I don't want to discourage anybody, you know? But it's not an overnight, well, for Ken's it's overnight. <laughs> for Ken, basically, the, he could do this shit for in a day or two, probably, you know, but for us, it will be a week or two weeks to build something like this, you know, in our normal playing time. But is he loves the game. He does amazing job. So if this is the first time you ever see something of, of Ken, you know, is these are the stuff that really can motivate people and really be like, man, but t take your time. Okay. Uh, you don't have to be as quick as Ken. Just build it take your time enjoy the journey enjoy the process you know but it's really amazing what ken does all the time is truly amazing i love the way he did this right here the way we go down right here I, and then i love the view this view is so nice so ken what was the idea to put palm trees inside the pool that, that, that because, that's such a clever yeah. idea yeah, because the uh, when you saw another cruise ship the the millionaire cruise ship they have this one uh the, the trees inside the pool really i need to yeah. see that i didn't know that yeah so so you're gonna search in the google search the cruise ship then many cruise ship uh i saw there so i said oh i'm gonna make a uh, uh, this one like a millionaire then uh trees inside the pool that's so cool i i and I, I need to look at pictures like that and to real life. I, I want to see that now. This, uh, uh, actually, this this cruise ship, I only made it for five hours only. Five hours. Yeah. It only took him five hours, guys. But Ken knows what he's doing now. But by, by this time, I mean, he knows what he's doing. So one more time, guys. Here's the shot. Look at this beautiful, beautiful cruise ship. Truly amazing. Truly an amazing work of art. I mean, and this is very different than any other cruise ship that we've seen. You know, we've seen a Cool Kitty making amazing riverboat cruise ship as well. This is a whole different, different take, different design, different way. It looks very modern, very modern. Now, let's talk about this right here, because this is important. This is a the little window, so imagine the captains are in here. This is where they're driving the ship. Uh, this is the control room area. As you guys can see, we got the, the weather station to create more antennas, using the furnace to give you that little extra, you know, just extra stuff on the very top, just to give you a little extra highlights. You know, and as you can see, everything is just a little level. Places that dip down, goes up, goes out. Truly amazing, truly amazing work. And still one of my favorite things. And one of the things that I got really is the iceberg. <laughs> Love the iceberg. Love I, the iceberg. I, it's, oh my gosh. It's just such a clever idea. Such a clever you know, just, idea. The iceberg is not my plan. I, on, I only uh, play around with the, the rams. So I said, uh, after finish it, I said, oh, it's a nice view. <laughs> I did it for only a fun. Yeah, yeah, uh, Anjali, Anjali, welcome in, and Ken put an iceberg. And if you look right, we're gonna hit it. I need, I need Captain, 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 you need to take a left. Take a left, come on. Or take a right, take a right. Because he's looking the other direction. Don't listen to me, take a right. Cur start curving it in because we may hit a little bit of the corner. And that's too nice. It's too nice. Man, it looks so good. 